31-year-old Cedric Harrison was facing charges in connection with a shooting that left five people wounded. Last Friday, though, the Virginia Beach Commonwealth Attorney's Office filed a motion during the preliminary hearing for the case to drop the charges against Harrison. We were having some witness problems, so our intention was to not process those charges at the time and do some further investigation and present those charges to a grand jury in the near future. The Commonwealth Attorney's Office made that decision based on information that indicated Harrison would remain in custody for two drug charges pending against him. But in fact, Harrison was released from the city jail after Friday's hearing. I have heard since then that the court meant to revoke his bond on one of those charges but never entered any paperwork doing so. In a telephone interview today, Virginia Beach Sheriff Ken Stolle told Ted on your side his department had no choice in the matter. The law required Harrison's release. And if he's obtained bond on the only criminal charges that are still existing, then we have to release him. And, you know, the Constitution requires that you can't hold somebody without criminal charges, and, and uh, that was the status that we found ourselves in. At last report, Harrison remains at large, whereabouts unknown. Now, the court has since filed the bond revocation, I'm told, on one of Harrison's drug charges, so police do have the authority to take him back into custody. Problem is, right now, they don't know where he is. Art Kahn, 10 on your side.